If you're worried about a neck hump that seems to be getting worse as you get older, then in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the problem. If you don't know who I am, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm gonna show you how to fix a neck hump in three simple steps. Now a neck hump can also be called a dowager's hump and it's this appearance of a hump back that lives just below the neck. It tends to get worse as we get older and it's also usually worse for women. Now, one of the things to uh, note about neck humps is that 50% of the reason you've developed a neck hump may well be your genetics. So to some degree, some people just get them worse than others and there's not much we can do about the genetic component. But the other 50% of the equation is usually mechanics. So if we've got a poor posture, if we've got a chin poking appearance, if we've got weakness in some of the muscles around the neck and the shoulders, that is gonna make it much, much worse. So even if you've got bad genetics and you have a dowager's hump, don't worry, you can often improve the appearance just through fixing the postural part. And if you have good genetics and you just wanna avoid a hump, then these exercises are also perfect for you as well. So let's have a look at the exercises now. I've got three to show you. Just before I show you them, it's important to note they're not suitable for everyone. Definitely don't do them if they cause you any pain or make your symptoms worse. And make sure you get checked out by your doctor before you give them a try. Anyway, let's have a look at the exercises now. So here are some of my favorite exercises to fix a neck hump. And for the first one, what we're gonna do is a movement called chin tucks on a towel. So I've got a nice rolled up towel like this. It's just got a bit of thickness, so it's a half roll throughout um, just a normal sized towel. And I'm gonna do this exercise to begin with on a pillow, okay? So what we need to do with the rolled up towel is we take it behind our head, just into the crook of the neck like that. So your neck's got a natural curve, which will probably be bigger for you if you have developed a bit of a hump, so it'll be easy to find. And the towel should slot perfectly into it. Now you're gonna lie on your back, knees bent, arms relaxed by your sides, and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna guide your chin in like a nodding dog to make a double chin and then relax. And as I do this, I'm only pushing it 50%, so I'm not straining. And you should just feel the muscles underneath here start to switch on. And you might also feel the area at the back of your neck opening up as well, okay? So again, chin tuck. Hold for a second and relax. Now when you're doing this exercise, it's super important that you keep your shoulders relaxed, your arms should be relaxed, you shouldn't be lifting your head, the head should stay relaxed on the pillow. So the movement is just this. So we're isolating everything else. Now the cue for this is to imagine that you're trying to push your chin in towards the towel. That sounds like a weird thing to say, but if you imagine you're pulling your chin in to try and crush the towel, that's the correct movement, okay? So if you feel a little bit at the back of the neck and a bit here, it's probably doing the right thing. If it causes your pain to be worse, you're probably not doing it correctly. So have someone take a look. So that's the first exercise. What I'd recommend doing is spending at least two or three minutes a day trying to do that. You might do a minute in the morning, a minute at lunchtime, and a minute just before you go to sleep. And it's a fantastic way to start to correct that neck posture by building strength in the deep neck flexors, and that will help to fix the hump. Now, if you find that very easy or you don't feel anything working at all, you can try this exercise on flat. But if you already have quite a bit of a hump, putting you on flat will lift you up like this, which is gonna be very uncomfortable. So if you already have a bit of a hump, avoid this. But if you just wanna prevent one, this might be suitable as well. You can repeat the exercise on flat like this. So now the towel is actually increasing the curve, which means we've got a greater range of motion to do this. So because I don't have a hump here, I can feel this working a lot better. But again, if this is uncomfortable for you, don't do it on flat. So that's the first exercise and a progression. Let's talk about the second exercise. And the second exercise I've got for you is something called snow angels, okay? So now we are gonna lie on flat if we can. If we can't, feel free to put something underneath your head 
just to keep it supported. So it's fine to use a towel or a pillow if you wish. So I'm gonna do it on flat. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just do a little version of that chin tuck. So about 25%. Then I'm gonna have my arms down by my sides. And the exercise is simple. We're gonna keep our shoulders pinned down. Okay, so shoulders are back. And we're just gonna lift our arms out to the side like this, keeping the chin in as high as we can. If you get stuck here, don't worry. I can get to about there before my shoulders lift. And then I'm gonna maintain the same thing coming down, okay, like this. So imagine you're trying to make a snow angel in the snow as slowly as you can. Now, because this is a really slow movement, we don't have to do 10 or 15 of these, just doing three or four is absolutely fine. But the important thing here is trying to maintain the chin in and the shoulders in contact with the bed and the shoulder blades pulled in and down. Okay, again, if this makes your pain worse, just avoid it. But it's a lovely exercise for opening everything up in order to correct that hump-like appearance. Now, one of the problems with people with a hump is that their shoulders have come forward. So this way, we're pinning them back. And they also lose shoulder mobility, so they can't lift very well. So practicing that shoulder mobility whilst keeping the neck in a good position is a great way to start to fix the hump. So I would do three or four repetitions in a row and try and do that several times per day if you can. It's a great way to start to get that hump fixed. So I've got one more exercise to show you to fix that neck hump once and for all. Before I tell you what it is, 89% of people watching this video are not subscribed to the channel. So if that's you, you're missing out on being the first to know about our new videos. So scroll down right now, hit that subscribe button, and then come back up. Okay, now that's been said, let's talk about the final exercise for a neck hump. And this exercise is called a band pull apart. The reason I like this exercise so much is that it strengthens these muscles between the shoulder blades called the rhomboids. And people with a neck hump, they tend to have this kind of appearance. Their chin is forward and their shoulders are uh, rolled forward like this. Their shoulders are rounded, which means that the rhomboids in between the shoulder blades are lengthened and weak. So this exercise reverses that by strengthening the rhomboids, opening up the chest, and putting the person back into a good position. So all you need for this exercise is a thin resistance band. You can get these online very cheaply. And what you're going to do is you're gonna start standing with as good a posture as you can, the band in both hands lifted out in front of you. You're gonna keep your chin in as we did before, shoulders down and relaxed, and then pull the band across your chest as tightly as you can. So you should find that the band is making contact with your chest, probably just above the nipple line, maybe about collarbone height, and you really wanna squeeze those shoulder blades together and relax like that. Now, for some people, that's really hard. I'm gonna show you from behind so you can see what's happening with my shoulder blades. So my shoulders are down, my chin's in, and then I'm pulling across, and then squeezing them together without allowing my shoulders to lift up like that. I wanna keep them down going to hold for a couple of seconds and then come back to normal. Now, because we're doing this exercise very slowly, again, we don't need to do 10, 15 of these in a row. We probably just want to do five, maybe six for most people, but a nice squeeze at the end. It should feel like it's quite hard work for the muscles between the shoulder blades. If you feel this up here, you're not doing it right. You're allowing your shoulders to come up. So either drop the resistance down or do it in front of a mirror where you can watch what's happening to make sure your shoulders are not coming up like that. So I'd recommend doing three to maybe six of those in a row, several times a day for most people. The regularity is key, because otherwise it's not going to uh, cause a, a long lasting change. And try and do that each day, because then it will help you to fix that neck hump and improve your posture as a result. So those are three simple exercises to help you fix a neck hump. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below. It's got loads more tips in it about posture and how to keep a healthy neck and back as we get older. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll see you on the next episode.